Real quick, I just want to say that my game capture is broken, so most of the gameplays that you're seeing are very, very old. I will let you guys know when it's fixed. Anyway, enjoy the video. Ah, the county of Saratoga, New York. A medium-sized place with middle-class people. Just a bunch of average stuff. But one thing that's just above average is the attractions here. Like, take the battlefield, for example. Woo, fun for the whole family. Let's learn about dead people. Or what about Six Flags? That's fun. There's so many good rides there. So many big, fun, adventurous rides there. Fun for the whole family. Oh, what's that? You're hungry? We'll have our patented potato chips invented right here in the county of Saratoga. Oh, what's that? Now you're thirsty? Have some of our patented Elmer's glue invented right here. How about a day on the lake? Nice, fun, family, friend. Okay, let's be honest, this place fucking sucks. But wait, I almost forgot this one equation. If you take the two, carry it by 84, divide the 46, multiply the x, and take the 4984, you can get one more attraction that may actually be half decent and that is the saratoga race track located right here in the city of saratoga the biggest horse racing track in the world <laughs> oh man the biggest horse racing track in the world <laughs> it's like saying i'm the tallest guy that was born on february 29th that's 32 years old <laughs> anyway all this was just for me to start doing a life story so this is my first life story so i hope you enjoy it it started in the world renowned saratoga racetrack it was the opening day of 2015 everyone was hype everyone's going to place their bets <sighs> So basically, we got into this place, it was kind of, it's not really that important, but it's kind of like the exclusive place, we knew a guy who, I'm not, I'm not even gonna get into who he is, we just, it, it's like the other side of the track where everyone is, like, everyone's on one side of the track, like, all the normal people, and then, like, like some of the horse owners, they, they, like, sit up in a booth, and then some of the people, like, maintain the horses, or maybe, like, previously owned a horse, can sit on the back stretch, and that's, like, it's it's pretty cool because there's not a lot of people there and you can get right up to the track so it's really cool and that's where we were so we get there we park etc etc you know we're just chilling enjoying life you know we meet up with the person that get, let us in my dad's friend etc et so uh, stuff you don't need to know about um we get there you know we we settle in and we sit down and we start betting horses and must i just add everyone around here is smoking except for like my family and friends and stuff but everyone else around is like smoking cigars and cigarettes because they think they're cool so like, yeah it's kind of annoying and it gave me a really bad headache that day but for a while nothing really happens we're just chilling um enjoying the day uh betting horses i was just chilling just sitting there because my uh did i have a phone i think i did uh my phone had died so i was just chilling sit and enjoying the the nice weather it was hot and you know we got some good food the food there was amazing we went out we saw the horses it was cool good day you know the track is is really nice it's actually open right now i was supposed to go today but anyway um <laughs> Yeah, it, it's really nice, and it, it's a good day. So we go over, and we walk to the other side of the track so my dad can get his, like, season pass thing. And when we come back, okay, so that was a really long walk. It, it took us, like, two hours because we had to we had to find out which place to go to because there's, like, I don't know, like, ten gates. And they're like, oh, yeah, this gate. Now this gate. No, 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 it, it's that gate. No, no, it's that. So they kept telling us different places, so we were going place to place. It was, it was really annoying, honestly, so we just had to find the right place. We finally found it. Gate A, of course, the first gate, so why didn't we look there in the first? But anyway, we get there, we get his pass and stuff like that, and then we leave, and we walk back, and it takes about, I don't know, like 30 minutes to walk back. It's a, it's a pretty long walk, so, you know, we, we walk all the way there and all the way back, and it's really annoying. You know, we missed a lot of, we missed, we missed a lot of races. It kind of sucked, but, you know, we got some good food, so that that's basically all that matters to the whole day is we got some good food. I don't care what else happens. We got some good food. So, we get back, and um, my brother reads something on his phone that says, like, um, severe thunderstorm morning, you know, and we look up, and there's clouds in the sky, and we're like, all right, should we get out of here before, you know, the rain comes and stuff, but it was supposed to pass up, so we're like, all right, all right, that's cool, that's cool. Um, we'll, we'll just stay if it rains we'll just get under the thing because they have like a little thing there and like 
we were just gonna wait till it passes up. We weren't gonna leave, and I was like, okay, that's cool. Now me, I don't, I don't fuck with uh, like thunderstorms and stuff. I, I just don't, I don't. Okay. Honestly, they just, they don't make me happy. Okay, I just don't like them. I'm like, we should leave. Honestly, why, why being stuck in a thunderstorm? You know, the, I hate thunder. It's just so loud and the rain and then the lightning and then it, it, it's just all that stuff i just don't like natural disasters and natural weather stuff like that i just don't fuck with it it's not like a fear of mine or anything like that big at least i'm i'm good don't worry i'm not i'm gonna live but like it's, it's just i just don't fuck with them that much and so as anticipated the storm rolls in clouds you know they roll in and but nothing, nothing really comes down. It just gets a little cloudy. You're like, oh, okay, well, nothing's coming down. We're fine. Five minutes later, the wind starts to pick up. Just a little bit, just a little, little bit here and there. And just, you know, oh, a little bit of wind. Oh, cool, yeah. No, nothing really too noticeable. We don't really care. Of course, me, I'm over there like, please don't storm. I don't, I don't really want it to storm. But yeah, the wind, the wind picks up a little bit. And then we're good. About another minute later, the wind picks up again. A little bit more. It's a little bit more. 10 seconds later, it's it's up a little bit more. It's it's getting there noticeable. And the track was like the the um the road there and the back stretch was dirt. So like the so once the wind started to pick up, the dirt kind of got, you know, all over the place. So the wind in about, you know, like 30 seconds from the from from then, the wind is going. And the my so I just hear my brother say, cover your eyes. And so I start covering my eyes. The wind is going. It just, and then out of nowhere, just everything just starts going. It's pouring rain and it's like, I don't even know, okay? The wind, I don't even know what's happening. I'm just trying to live. The tarp that we had is flying away, okay? So we have to hold down the tarp. My, cause the guy we were with had two little kids and a mom. And so we, we had to, um, hold down the tarp. And it was, so it was my dad, me, my brother, and then the guy we were with. We were all holding down the tarp. My dad's like telling me to take it down. He's like, oh, pull the silver pin. I didn't give no fucks about the silver pin. I was just trying to live, bro. So everyone's like laughing because it's funny. Like we can't get the tarp down. I'm like over here like panicking. The wind, like it was crazy. I was like, what's going on? We're going to die. So my dad just steps up. He's like, all right, move up, move up. I'll, I'll get the pin. But he, we're, we're, they're all still laughing. I'm like, yo, what? <laughs> Okay, so at this point, the wind picked up, so we were virtually in a mini tornado. I'm not even lying. I'm not even lying. We were virtually in a mini tornado. So I'm just like, I'm pretty, my eyes might have been closed. I mean, it was kind of hard to see with the wind and the, and the dirt going everywhere. So I'm just like, oh my God, Lord, please, Lord, please. I'm like over here panicking. Like, oh my God, there's a tornado. We're going to die. Like, it wasn't really a tornado. It was about to be, I'm telling you, because we were going, the wind was going in circles and thankfully god was on my side and the wind stopped it slowed down i was like oh my gosh i lived Woo! Ugh. but then 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 i hear my dad go oh and then i hear a i look to i think it was my left yep it was my left i look to my left and I see this giant tree over a parking lot start to slowly tip and tip a little more. And and it almost like didn't tip. It like stopped. Everyone was like, whoo. And then it tipped. And then it just went into like eight cars. And it was crazy. The noise was so loud. Everyone looked. Even like on the other side of the track, everyone looked. <laughs> it was pretty good. No, I'm just kidding. You can't see from from the other side of the track but it was really really crazy um it hit eight cars i think the cars it were they were nice cars because the backstretch got like semi-rich people got like the bmw we had mercedes-benz in there there was a audi i think there was like two four by fours i don't freaking know okay there was a lot of nice freaking trucks it was like wow and cars it was crazy and then here's the funny part my friend comes over i see my friend here with his like dad and stuff and he comes over and he's telling us how he was in the back stretch on the other like over down like more and they heard the noise and everyone thought it was a gunshot and like like he said like 10 other people dropped to him and 10 other people dropped to the ground because they thought it was a gunshot so that was pretty funny man but uh, overall, it was a crazy day. My my headaches, you know, tenfold. 
at this point. It's I'm I'm dying of headache, headachia. So I almost died that day. Um, that's basically the story and how I died at the the Saratoga National Racetrack. Oh, world's biggest horse racing course ever. This video is too long, but I don't really care. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you did like it, I would appreciate it if you dropped a like. If not, it's all good, man. No one's telling you to. No one's forcing you to. So it's all good. And if you are new here, I would appreciate you subscribe. But same thing applies for that. Anyway, this is MJ Keelum, and I'm out. Peace.